streaming on hers too. So welcome uh, to recipe of the day. My special guest today is my sister, <laughs> Julia, Hello. is in town today from Texas. So we um, are doing the show today. It is episode 98. We are on countdown to 100. So next Wednesday is our 100th episode since March 17th, since we kicked off this adventure. So thank you guys for watching. It's always a blast. And today we have some fun things on deck for you. We are going to be making a couple quick and easy appetizers with things you already have in your pantry. So things of you uh, get invited to a soiree, even a little one at the last second, um, or your neighbors pop by, then we have a couple things in line for you. So we are going to be making sausage cheese balls today. And we are also going to be making a uh, ham and cheese roll up. And of course we have a special cocktail <laughs> on deck for the holidays. So let's get started. Um, I'm gonna get started here with the sausage roll-ups. So we will okay. get started with one pound of Jimmy Dean Spicy. That is our family fa uh, favorite around here. So we've got the one pound of sausage. Okay. And then we have a cup and a half. We're using Pamela's mix, mix. the, the gluten-free mix. Uh, in the in the sausage roll up, so I think they'll be gluten free. I'm not sure the is the Jimmy Dean gluten free. Might be. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I have to check. But they're almost gluten free. If the, <laughs> the Jimmy Dean is not. Um, and then to that we have our two cups of shredded uh, cheddar cheese. The we are going to put two tablespoons, and that's what's left in here of some onion soup mix, dry onion soup mix going in. And then we are gonna put a little bit, a pinch of a little bit of cayenne pepper, just cause, and we use spicy Jimmy Dean cause that's just what we like around here. So I'm gonna put a little cayenne in, in there and then it just needs a splash of milk. So let me grab a splash since we okay. didn't quite get the this milk out the here. Utensil, Lisa. And since half and half is what I have my hand on, okay. we're we gonna go. put a splash of I'm half just, and half. I'm just using my hands. Oops. Okay, hands. Uh, my hands are clean. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> and if they're not, we're the ones that are eating it hands anyway. <laughs> sandpaper anyway from all the hand sanitizer. Hey Melissa, how are you? Thanks for watching. Hope all is well with you. So she's getting the sausage balls and that's pretty much it on the sausage ball. She's going to get that mixed together and we're going to roll them into balls and put them on the cookie sheet. So see how quick and easy that was and I'm sure you have all the ingredients for that. Um, in your fridge is why we picked it. So what is something that is easy and quick and you don't have to go to the store? people love these. They, they never quite know what it is. It seems to like kind of change when it's cooked. I don't know, but people love these at parties. And you can use whatever sausage, whatever cheese. Remember COVID cooking, we use what we got. That's right. Okay. So that is the cheese balls all mixed up. Now then, some recipes had an egg in this and some didn't. Um, but we didn't put we an eggless. egg in. Okay. We went eggless. All right. And that's so since it. Since I've only made about five million cookies, I will throw these on the cookie sheet. <laughs> let's roll. Just roll. Let's roll one. So, so we're gonna take. Roll. We're gonna, gonna take one. Take some. And we'll just show. So we're gonna make these into just like a bite size, a perfect appetizer ball. All right. Who's got an appetizer ball joke? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and that's it on the cheese balls. Like what? Right. Five minutes and boom, they're ready Two to go. Minutes. So the next thing okay. she, where she's gonna make so, here, I gave her the fun job with yeah. the rolling pin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one is a um, just another really quick thing that you can get the pizza dough at. Um, it turns out she can get it at her grocery. We get it at Trader Joe's in Texas, but 
Um, all it is is rolling the um, pre-made pizza dough out. I mean, she gets it from the pizza store. I get it from the pizza parlor. She so goes I have to, to say, the I actually get it from my local pizza parlor, which if you have a, a I don't know. Hey, Destiny, how are you? Florence, welcome. Good to see you guys. But my pizza parlor makes the best dough. But, you know, $20 in, I can go to my pizza parlor and they'll sell me the dough for like four bucks. And then I just make my own pizza. Yeah, it's still costing about 12 bucks. <laughs> really not that frugal. It's just the fun. It's pizza night at her night on, on her Fridays. house on Friday nights. They always make pizza. Right. But I have gotten pretty dang good at a carne pizza dough. So is she going to make that into our tail? I'm chopping up because we're the ones eating this <laughs> recipe. I'm chopping up a little jalapeno in a fine dice. Because with just ham and cheese and a little mustard, I think it needs a little jalapeno in the mix here to give it a little zhuzh, you know, a little wing ding. Hey, Adriana, how are you? Welcome. We are making two easy appetizers today that you probably have everything in your pantry. Sausage balls, and then we're going to do a ham and cheese roll up here. And I'm going to put a little jalapeno in there when we get it going on there. And then we're going to make a special cocktail because it's the holidays and everyone needs a new idea on cocktails. I've had so many co uh, comments in my DMs about the cocktails. So you guys Everybody love these. Yes. Yeah. Everybody trying them. Can have one now, please? Everybody <laughs> loves them. Yes, you'll get to have one in a moment. Okay. Want to run the blender. All right. That sounds good. How's that going there? Okay. I don't know. My, my, my local pizza parlor does. The reason I actually like it better than the store bought because it seems to have a lot of gluten in it and it stays together. Although I didn't make too many holes in this. The idea is just a rectangle and I only used half so it's not the biggest rectangle. So I'm just going to put a little bit of... Um, oh, here we go. I have the brush. Mustard. Of course I have the tools for that. Because we're making ham and cheese. And so you kind of got to have a little mustard with ham and cheese. Gadget woman. I have all the gadgets. <laughs> Always got the right thing. So spread a little mustard on there. Don't put the jalapenos on the bottom or the top. Um, outside, maybe. Okay. Bottom. Bottom. Cook better. Yeah. All right. And then we'll just put. Another. So we've got some cheeses here. We've got some uh, cheddar just ham. Oh yeah. And just ham from the you know deli. And then. And whatever you have, if you have turkey, like, if you have salami, whatever right. your family likes. Because I always bring hot appetizers to parties because it seems like the men really, they're always hungry and um, they always, they like always the eat ones. the hot ones first and all the like wimpy celery. The carrots and celery. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so then we're just going to. Can you throw the jalapenos in there? Or did you? Yeah, okay. no. But I'm gonna. Okay. Here we go. This All is right. just a diced little yeah, fresh really diced jalapeno. Makes a little Christmassy. So I'm just gonna roll it up. Yeah. And that's it. Another reason why we picked this re uh, recipe is because it's really a fun one to do with your kids. Again, another fun activity for those that are still homeschooling. Um, maybe a little quick diversion, a little home at class. And you can roll your dough. You can make your own dough too. So whatever yeah. okay. works. So it's really just like a um, look. Show show that. Oh, so it's one of those cream. sandwiches from the deli. <laughs> <laughs> but these are going to be better they're than those be baked. ones that aren't cooked. Gonna, like puff out. Because these are better because they're cooked and the cheese will get melty and yummy. Oh yeah. my goodness! So how cool was that? I mean, we have two, so be two appetizers like done. Eight minutes in. In eight minutes. So those are quick and easy yeah. appeti appetizers for the holidays and activities to do with your kids that are easy and that all the kids can do because the ball cookies and the meatballs and stuff kids love to help and make those so that's a good one okay oh my gosh We're delish done. huh all right i mean this is like record uh, timing right. today so we will move right along here to our next item okay. up for the grabs cocktail. here the cocktail so first of all we are going to Take our ears off. Yeah. Put our reindeer ears. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Okay. No ears. Take our ears off. All right. Um, hey, Aaron. How are you? We're gonna start by rimming and preparing our. Um, here, just give me that. I'll just get out of the way. Our glasses with our pretty rim, because you know one of the things that makes a fancy cocktail fancy is the fancy rim when they do the stuff. So on the plate here, we have a little bit of sugar on the plate already, and I'm gonna put a little bit of. Um, this is chipotle chili pepper in our 
plate here, and I'm also going to put a little bit of our Malden sea salt. Hey, Megan. Oh, Megan's I'm here. there. She's not there, but she oh. is my Malden salt. Well, she sent me a bucket oh. of this that I have enough Malden salt to last till <laughs> Rex's grandkids. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit of salt on here. Look how nice that is. Show them. How like, kind of flaky. See, this is uh, uh, what you need from salt in this is flakes. It's big flakes of salt. So I'm going to put it on top of cookies or on top of a roast or that's really, really pretty, and it tastes good. It's got this really salty flavor. Okay, so now we're gonna rim our glass. Okay. We've got two cocktail glasses back here re uh, ready to go, so I'm gonna mix up our chili powder and our sugar and our salt, and that's what's gonna go on our okay. rim of our glasses. And then this cocktail sounded delicious. You, you're gonna know why we picked it here. So into our 30-year-old Osterizer tequila. <laughs> you know we picked something with tequila. Yes. So in our, I'm here. <laughs> oh my gosh, we had di we had di uh, dinner with a lifelong friend for Julie's birthday. Her birthday was Monday, so wish her happy birthday, gang. Yay. Um, and she brought out this tequila. Oh my goodness, it's like the best tequila I've ever tasted. It's amazing. We have to see what the name is, but I don't so know what the name is, but it's on our phones. Oh, wait, let's see. Uh oh. Okay. All right. So, ribbon Excuse glasses. Me. I don't want to sneeze all, all over the blender. So, in I've had a little bit of crushed ice in the blender. All over all everybody. I'm going to put a third of a cup of tequila. And then I'm going to put, look how pretty that is. And then I'm going to put, okay. Hey, Destiny. We're in. What's happening, girl? Okay, then I'm going to put, uh, that was a third of a cup, I think, and a quarter of a cup of uh, our favorite, oh gosh, Quantro. Quantro. Okay, so what's a margarita without Quantro? Uh, okay. It's not one without it. A little bit of fresh lime juice, and then we're going to put a splash of honey. Now you could use agave, you could use what, whatever you have, you're going to splash of honey in there. And then we have a can of pineapple juice. Welcome to the tropics, Mon. How much? We are going to use a can because that's thing? how it came, the whole thing. Oh. And then our pineapple. Where's our pineapple? Oh. And then we have two cups, and now we uh, bought frozen pineapple, so it would help aid in our frozenness that, instead of ice. So this is about two cups of frozen pineapple. Okay. And then make sure I got everything in there. We got ice okay. and uh, agave, the lime. Yep, I think that's everything. So okay. give that a whirl. Okay, plug your ears. Here we go. <laughs> Vintage. Vintage. <laughs> Make sure all our pineapple chunks are mixed up in our cocktail. Yeah, here we go. So we get it, so it goes around in a circle, I think. So this look, one looked like a good one. Hey, John, how are you? Okay, here we are. All right. Our pretty glasses. Cheers. Happy birthday to Thank you. you, sister. Mm. Mm. Oh my sure goodness. Sugar on glass is good. Wow. <laughs> the rim of, of the glass. The rim. Because you can taste it has that salt <laughs> and the chili uh, uh, powder uh, and the really sweet. Good. The salt yeah. is so good. Yum. Mm. Oh, actually, it's not that sweet. That's a good one. When it's not that sweet. It's not that sweet. It's delicious. It's sugar on the rim. Oh my goodness. Mm. Well, we have a special <laughs> birthday shout out today. Sandy, it's delicious. And oh we have, and we have, wait till you see this. We okay. had a special viewer made me a new birthday shout out hat. So check this out. I mean, check it out. I gotta get down see? so you can see me on, like, on Instagram. Go in. Oh my gosh, can you guys see? I gotta go in. See? It lights up. It's got all the birthday things, and it has a tail back here. And I think it sings "Happy, bur happy, uh, <laughs> happy Birthday" too. How awesome is this hat? Gary's trying to get me in, in the shot. Okay. So we got our new birthday shout-out hat. It's stuck in my hair, but isn't it awesome? 
Oh my gosh, seriously, you guys, this is awesome. Now this, my sister made this it's for me. It's from my special viewer, me. That's from my special <laughs> viewer. Well, I, my, I got my hair clip in here trying to get the hat Why on. Why are we sick of that blue hat? I know. Well, the blue hat was the, the, the COVID hat since Every time I watched her, I was cringy. So, so oh my I gosh, you guys, hat. seriously, is this so, so awesome? So I have so to tell a little bit. So this is from um, my friend in Houston who... The name of her company is Hattitude of Houston, and she makes the most fabulous hats. Her name is Stacy. So she has an Etsy store, and it's Hattitude of Houston, and we will put a link down in Lisa's comments. Um, so go take a look at her website and support her small business because her she's fabulous, and she'll make whatever you want. And it lights up. I don't know. Y'all probably can't. How awesome is this? So our first birthday shout-out with our new birthday shout-out hat on episode 98 is on my pad here, right here, and we got a whole bunch. So birthday shout outs today to my sister <laughs> for Monday is past. I got two. And then today is Kim Sanford, happy birthday to you, and Andy Dooley, Mr. Dooley, happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, Rosetta Wilms, happy birthday to you, and Rachel Laney. Rachel, you were my winner um, like a week or two ago. I gotta come by and see you bringing your prize. And then Ronnie Stewart, I miss you. We are nine months without Orange the uh, Theory now. Nine months. And we had two weeks in June, but I am missing it big time. And then Jocelyn Santiago, those are our birthdays this week. So happy birthday to all of you. And then we are doing a... <laughs> he wants me to stay in the shot. Doing a food drive at our office. So Berkshire Hathaway at our office is doing a food drive. And um, we, because of the situation this year, the homeless shelter in Santa Paula that usually feeds people uh, meals, hot meals, is doing a food drive for canned goods. So canned goods that you can like peel the top off of, easy things that they can pass out to eat. They're doing a food pantry. So the Spirit of Santa Paula is who our office, we are doing a food drive. So you can drop off canned foods to our office, Berkshire Hathaway on Market Street. Um, until next Friday the 18th. So if you want to participate, we'd love to have you participate and you can just drop your bag of food right at the front and there's a box there. Um, easy peasy and social distance drop off. Um, and then today 